Sports Stars Magazine here with Santa Margarita Star, Dunina and Joe, uh, 71, obviously the group 378, uh, pursuing that uh, that three-peat, but obviously we know that anytime you ladies and Tory Pines get together that uh, magic is gonna, gonna occur, certainly was, uh, was the case today, an incredibly high level at San Gabriel Country Club, uh, just, uh, what, what are the emotions uh, overall, just in terms of, uh, of of year round, and you know, and just you know, h uh, how much the group fought? I mean, yeah, authentically, obviously there is some disappointment because we really want that three peat. But I think at the end of the day, it's just golf, and uh, while we all feel like we could have done better, we are all very proud of each other for really fighting until the end. I mean, Tory Pines is such an amazing team, and we all really rallied. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, but we're really excited to hopefully be back next year and just give another try. Most definitely. Like uh, they were talking about, obviously, this group thrived up north last year, uh, but I'm thankful for everyone, uh, not just you ladies and Tory Pines, but everyone, that, uh, that the conditions were, you know, so favorable. And obviously, uh, b being down here, what, you know, just having, you know, a group that's been so successful, especially on, on this layout here before, like, uh, just how, how much did you feel like uh, that, that was going to, uh, benefit uh, uh, those women uh, who had played this course before? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. We have two returning girls and they've played at St. Gabriel, so they have a lot of experience and they're able to pass it down to us. I think ultimately it played a little different than two, two years ago. It was a little firmer, yep. but I think it definitely helped because beforehand coming in, we knew we really needed to practice our um, off the tee shots because it's quite narrow. Absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, as, uh, as a competitor, you know, you were you know, in contention and in the conversation the, uh, the entire time, uh, to be able to, uh, to see not only two teams of, of the caliber of you and Tory Pines, but then having athletes the caliber of, you know, Zoe and Rena out there, you know, just having a state championship and a playoff. It's obviously that, the, you know, the Southern regional, the Southern section specifically, is in a very good place right now. Like, how, how proud are you to, uh, you, uh, to be part of, uh, you know, what is truly one of the golden eras in, in women's golf in Southern California? I'm just so proud and happy. I think the competition, we all stimulate each other. And Zoe and Rena, I mean, they're just such amazing players. I'm so happy for them. They all work so hard. I mean, we all work so hard. So I just think being in an environment where everyone pushes each other is just really rewarding because you really get to... I mean, not only just improve better, but you just improve as a person because you realize the value of hard work and that even if you work hard, you're not promised anything, but if you don't work hard, you're not going to get anything. Most so. definitely. Do you need the last thing? You know, I always say it's one thing to get there, it's another thing to stay there. Like, I, I mean, I know it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a balance of emotions right now because it's still so fresh and so, uh, and so immediate and like every single one of your teammates is so competitive that they're going to nitpick like, uh, you know, if I could have just tapped in here or, you know, just played, you know, this hole a little bit safer here, maybe you know, the, uh, the outcome of the uh, team competition, you know, uh, it, it flips a little bit. But just the fact that this group has been, you know, in, in the hunt, in contention with a, ma a matter of strokes for so many years now, uh, just the staying power of the Santa Margarita Eagles, just how significant is that? Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. Golf is a sport. It's always changing. And I know a lot of my teammates, they're all amazing players. They definitely could have had better days. But I think the fact that we were even able to compete for a 3 P just really comes to show how hard all of our girls work. I mean, we have to balance school and golf. And I just think it's not easy. I'm just so proud of all my teammates because I think they really just deserve the world. And I'm so excited to see, like, not only how we play next year, but how they just develop as people. Most yeah. definitely. Uh, Danina, uh, great effort today. Fantastic season uh, for, uh, for you and the ladies. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Have a good day.